This video was created to help you make the best of planetary vibes. The root sound of the instrument is a variety of high quality wood and metal tongue drums. Tongue drums are a lot of fun. They sit in your lap, the table, or on the floor. And as you can see, it's hard for them to sound bad. I have no intention of replacing the tongue drum or the experience of sitting with one, but rather translate it into the finger pads, so it makes it more portable and more versatile. In fact, different configurations can lead to even more ideas. If you're using a traditional keyboard, you'll probably want to stick to the extended versions because they'll go straight up the Ableton push. First, I'm going to go over some of the basic parameters. For this demonstration, I'm using the mini 8 inch by 5 inch pentatonic. What's really cool about tongue drums is every maker sets them up differently. So you don't really know what you're doing as you're playing them. I wanted to take the same approach with this pad system. You have a left hand and a right hand in the natural versions. And no matter how you hit it, it will sound good. If you want to kind of take it from the side, that's one way. If you want to take it from the top, however you approach it, much like a real tongue drum. But then you have the extended versions. As you can see, the extended versions take all the drum pads in the rack, giving you a much more wider palette to play with. But again, they'll all sound great together. Let's go over some of the features of this instrument. The chord bank is one of my favorite parts of this instrument because it allows you to do things that you couldn't really do on a tongue drum unless you had like multiple mallets in the same hands. So what it does is, is if I hit a note and turn up any of these knobs, with the exception of velocity impact, we'll come to that in a minute, Lullaby will turn up and start making a chord for you. The more you turn it up, the louder the chord around the note you're hitting will be. Just with one knob, you get this amazing chord bank. Velocity impact can be really useful. Sometimes when you're playing this, you can get really into it and start pounding on the drums. And you can get that big clank. If you turn down velocity impact, you can hit it just as hard as you want, but you won't get to the full velocity. You have arpeggiate. Standard arpeggiator. Hold down a few notes. Turn it up, and it will follow the BPM of live. For this demonstration, I just put some very basic drums in. Put some stereo spread on it to widen it out. And some flutter BPM which is a tremolo that is synchronized to the BPM of live. Pull the sustain back and it will shorten the length of the hits. The other way around, shorten the attack and you'll start to get more of an organ feel. But these are just suggestions. This is a good time to mention that most of the colors are just decorative, unless there's two colors that are the same. If there's two colors the same, that means the knobs are in the same quote family. Attack, sustain, low filter, high filter. That's all it means. Width can be a lot of fun. It's a panner, but not just left and right. It will take every other note and pan them left and right. Stronger and stronger left and right, the harder you get. And then when you flip it the other way, it, it reverses it. Pitch is exactly what it says it is. Pitch, it will go up two octaves.
to give you some really pretty stuff in the top. And then go down low, you can get some crazy booming clanking. Add a little thicken distortion. For that thick, aggressive tone. And the thickened distortion will sound different on every drum. The juice area is where you have some more fun tools to help you make some crazy cool sounds. That's weird is just weird. But for the atonal type ambient, it will give you a lot of ideas. Bounce is synchronized to live's BPM and it will be a delay effect. You probably guessed that verb is reverb. Where you turn it, where you get. And chimes will add overtones and eventually a fluttering chorus effect. Being a little more gentle with all of them can use some really pretty sounds just with these three knobs. Bubbles gives you a fun sort of, well, bubbling effect. Combine it with reverb, maybe a little bounce, a bit of chimes, you get some fun stuff. Low res will give some 8-bit low res effects in there. Like all the knobs, the more you turn it, the more you get. Real buzzy and fun, get real extreme. Low filter and high filter, pretty standard. Let's move on to the sauce area. You have delay, volume, and delay cutoff. Delay volume turns up the synchronized delays. The delays obviously are synchronized to live's BPM. I'll put the drums on to demonstrate that real quickly here. So I'm just gonna play some notes in. But the cutoff is a high cutoff. So if you want it to be really hear the drums sort of clank away, and then you can turn the BPM up, and it will all follow. Tremolo, as opposed to Flutter BPM, is not synchronized to the BPM. So the more you turn it up, the faster it will go. Liquid Dry Soak just puts it into a bath of reverb, but you don't really hear the attack, and it will hold it forever. Buzz Amount and Buzz Mix go together. Obviously, turn up buzz mix, it'll turn the buzz in. And buzz amount determines the frequency. Laser gives a neat laser effect. And fuzz is a fuzz distortion. Let's move on to Electrify. Electrify is two rows of resonators. So this row and this row. It corresponds to the key of the drum. So this, so this drum is in D, and you can see over here, the pitch is in D. So this row here, if it's in D, all these knobs go with the pitch of, of this knob. So I play something, and I turn up Lava, for instance. And I move this. This can lead to some really fun effects. So now we have an A3 resonator 
with a D drum. I want to mention here is if you want to take the drum up in pitch, let's say you wanted to take up this drum from a D, a whole step from D to E, you may want to do it with this too, but you don't have to. Changing the resonator here away from the original key of the drum can get you some really interesting tones, especially when you're just sort of playing around with it. These are just some of the ideas I've had with this instrument, but there's a ton more in combining all these wonderful knobs and tones. I hope you enjoy the instrument as much as I've enjoyed making it.